с Упс. цена вы чикен вы кукен чикен 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 Settle down and chips. Chicken Kiev and chips. Okay, hold on. Let me get these crumbs. Let me get these crumbs. Okay, the solution to a, an issue is just to muscle on through the the real toil that presents itself to thee in order to finalize the mission according to this. Okay, but now I have to cook some fat. Right, so I'm going to try and make chicken Kiev. I want to talk you through this, right, because I have been potholing in Wales a few times. And it is very challenging, it is very scary, and it is very disturbing in places. But you have to muscle on. You have to keep the faith, you have to keep going. Um, long story... But hold on, we're going to make chicken Kiev and chips tonight, alright? It's quite simple. The chicken Kiev is already prepared and stored at the beautiful stores that we have in the UK. Selling the people of this land quality produce at a reasonable rate, even given the climate under conflict in foreign junctures. Okay, I'm very pleased with the British economy and the general well-being and the peace overall. Alright? So don't ever call me a party pooper just because I don't like orgies on cocaine. I am a man of God. Whatever anyone says. So come, come. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Alright, I have to do this. Fuck. Way, way. Language to Ah, Chicken Kiev Deluxe. Blenders. And chipperatus. Right now, see what I'm going to do here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to pick up this tray, which is only mildly debris filled. Okay, I'm gonna put the, the chicken Kiev in the middle. I'm gonna add some chips. Hold on, I have to put you down. Okay. Just to just, you know, according to the sources of all space time. Never in the field of life and humanity until now. Has there been a consistent and fluid and natural form of economically available chips and wide production for a huge number of people to daily enjoy in a field of plenty? So when Jim Morrison from The Doors goes on, goes on cynically about, and where is the banquet that we were promised, right? Just, hey, appreciate all food vectors. So this is the slice. That's basically what you got. And you got to turn on the oven. I like to put it on the normal setting, which is the proper setting. Because when you're in command of a spaceship, it's always very wise to do exactly what is known and pure within the instructions of each knob and what they're intended to do. And now all we can do is wait. I'm afraid, given the juncture that we have a long term time to wait, I, I can't put you through 20 minutes of toil. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I just don't want to make you suffer. We must cling to our boots. 
maintain the, uh, the upper fish department. I need a bear, but there is no bear. Where is the bear? We need a bear. Oh my god, we need a bear. Yes. There's the realization. There's the sorrow. There's the sadness that's become me. And my realization that my lack of beer is causing me emotional discomfort. In an ideal world, this would be remedied immediately with one thing. Can you think what that one thing is, children? For people devoid of the one thing they want? You're right, it's more beer. We definitely do need more beer as a society. I've always said it and I always believe it. Because it gives us a roving good cheer of grand celebration and happy wonders. To flit about time and know that all things are pretty pure and gracious. When we really take the time to appreciate the liberty of westernization and occidental liberty under the glorious belt of what we fought for and freedom during our own personal struggles for the war against foreign tyranny. And here is a crumb of beer that I shall be drinking tonight. I shall be drinking tonight. I shall be drinking tonight. And so we do this. what your belongings are, but you better remember, I'm married to Jesus. Okay, so we take out this specific of time, this morsel of existence, this, this little moment in reality, and we can make it into the epic movie. The greatest goddamn film you've ever seen. Something so exciting. Something so adrenaline fueled. Something so, what the fuck was going on in that shit, man? He had me completely there. Right? Okay. So bear with me. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make the chicken, Kiev, and chips together. And whatever we're going through, whatever we're feeling, whatever we're experiencing, it doesn't really matter. We're just on a trip, right? But it's not a real trip, because so I'm not an acid. But I do have an understanding of consciousness. And we're just going through a moment of peace and celebration. And divine wonder for all that is glorious under the Lord Jah, who goes by many names and has a son called Jesus Christ. And there, beyond the rumples and the doozers, and the fragrant whispers, we just stop talking with your clock. Stop talking. You stupid, stupid man. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what he's doing, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. As I thought, he's just storing time. Storing time, my chicks are kicking chicken calf. But we have been in a bit of an instance I mentioned your time time belt, haven't we, right? Because I thought, fuck, how long have I been going on on this? Okay. I thought, oh, this is a long movie. Right, but then I realised it's only eight minutes, nine minutes, out of a 20 minute field option on these cameras, where you can only store 20 minutes of time being photographed at one point, right? And I was like, no way. Because, like, you know, I've been through quite a lot in doing all this, you know, if, if I'm honest, I really have. And when I realised the lack of time that I had neglected by which to create incredible things.
such as lightsabers, then you will know that there are still Jedi's out there in the field. There are still Jedi's believing. There are still Jedi's that be part one of us. We are still the glory and the children of the 80s, star children, glorious wonderments of our own incarnation of dream. Nothing can stop us now. G-Force. And may the doozers keep building and the faggles keep growing. There is an Atania to thus. There is an embrace of the Lord betwixt the very knowledge of our sulcum hearts. And as delicate as we are on this point of Eternia, we realize so many options are given to us in a free wind of society and knowledge and love and beauty and wisdom rippling through every contour of our homes. Have you seen it, ladies and gentlemen? Have you seen it, children? The genius least, least within your homes. The electronics, the plumbing, the thatching, the tiling, the breathing doors upon the walls that give you your peace so enticing. Exactly. So it's mesmerizing. Completely enticing. The, the real is so unreal. But who do we thank exactly apart from everyone? Alright, but all right, you don't have to thank the scumbags. But apart from the crims, a lot of people deserve a lot of thanks in this world, I think. And I think we should go out there and go, yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being alive and being nice and taking part and being knowledgeable enough to be useful by which to help me in this life. Well, there's loads of them. Nurses, mate. Oh, fucking ace. My heart had cast a shunder this night of despair. There is nothing wrong, I see, I feel. There is nothing wrong but Eternia, embraced in the love of a divine genius and wonderment. Only the sacred woman who can embrace me in the field of knowledge that I have become will be the one to allow all humanity to eternally shift into the realm of knowledge. We have the peace. We have the truth. We have the chicken Kievan chips coming up. And it's about time. It's about time. Some pretty hot boy. With the sheer lackadaisical front that I apply to the medium of cinema when I could have been the next George Lucas. If they believed. But they didn't. And neither did I the level required. Although I did believe. There's no two ways about that. I still didn't believe. But I went a bit off kilter. Went a bit off kilter for a long time. Still a bit off kilter if I'm honest. Uh, went into uh, another space time dimension of potential reality. And found God immediately. Angels too. They don't like me smoking in bed. Absolutely not. Right, uh, oh, a few scary things. I once experienced, oh, let's not go to that. What else? Many things. Many magna things of truth in the supernatural field of knowledge. And in, in that, I find my supposition to knowledge. A representation of divinity. And I will call it that, as I fill the kettle with love and adore. I will call it exactly what I desire. Because I am festooned with blessings, boons on the love of God, yet rendered insane by the secular system of madness, encouraged into their 
ill atheist knowledge of assumptions, there is no God. There is a God. But don't think it's me. Or Anthony Kiedis. We're just conduits of the powers of the divinity of the real. Okay. That's all I gotta say this junk shit. We're coming up to the main line. We're coming up to the main juicy. Can I make a film about making a chicken Kiev and chips in twenty minutes in the neo field of reality and tech? I hope you're still with me. I hope you're bearing you up. Come on guys, we can do this. We can make the chicken Kiev and chips. I think we can do it. Who's with me? <coughs> Spill on Daisy! Who's with me, baby? Who's with me? We're gonna make this chicken and chips. I'm gonna put the camera down now. We're gonna do this. We're gonna absolutely achieve something tonight, people. Achievement. Achievement is the reception of knowledge. How clever are dishwashers? They are so clever. They are amazed by the knowledge of knowing and understanding the chemical scientific breakthrough and understanding called osmosis. I think they were partially invented by a woman, but it might have been dishwashers. I mean, I mean washing machines. That one or two was invented by a woman, and that's great. Well, what would that for women mean? Clever. I just wish it'd be more frequent. That's a joke, ladies. You're lovely, every single one of you, even the muppets. Right. So we've got to do this. We've got to do this. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Jolly Fandango. Comes to this. This bit of dawn, this new creation. This solace of field that who are we to dance with them? This purpose. This realm, this ancient divinity cast within our psyches to betterment of all glory. We are the children of the Neo Dawn. We are the crew of divinity. I take this knowledge not lightly, but perfectly under the drama of the realization that we have in the havoc of the souls. There will be no escape from this given fortune. There will be no redemption from those who seek to apply wickedry to this. I will not go gladly into that crouton night. Nadia, where are you? I need you. Charlotte. I need this more than anything. I need them. I need knowledge of my soul and psyche. The passion is the one. The knowledge is the gain. The realization is the effervescent period of truth. Don't you see rippling through the quantums? We have organic computers in our brain. It is truth. It is no scientifically knowledgeably under God. We are the sons of experts. We are the creme de la creme of the elite. We are not wearing sausage underpants. Now, let's check the uh, chicken, cave and chips now, shall we, children? Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, gosh. My gosh. gosh. Here we go. Oh, man. That's mental. That's mental. No, no. Oh, 
Time mission is not quite over yet, gentlemen. I like my chicken Kiev and chips to be perfectly well cooked. And I think to give boo. My entire point of making this documentary tonight into reality in space time was to illustrate how much information and knowledge and experience can be conveyed within a small belt of window when you're just making some food. Okay, so it's completely amazing. And it doesn't take years and millions of pounds to build these awesome projects of uber cinema, even though they are magnificent and wonderful. But if you can just keep it real by making a chicken chip and chips, then the whole world is your oyster and the game is your friend. And all eternity divines itself out upon a horizon of peace and no one hates a thing because truth is sacred to God and all liars be wicked and damned. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, the rest of this dialogue is classified for legal reasons due to the, uh, <clears throat> but never mind, it was not me who did it. I was just a knowledgeable expert in the field of their skullduggery, and I will have nothing to do with their plotting of terminations and disgusting things like, Ugh. there will be nothing to do with me. I have nothing to do with it. Now, let's check this chicken Kiev and chips, shall we, children? Oh, is that, is that cooked chicken? Is it a cooked chip? I'm not sure it's a cooked chip. You have to see. Holy Jack and Roy. Holy, we, 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 are, we are absolutely getting time dilation tonight. If I thought what was real was just now real, fuck, we'll, we'll run it at rapid, high tech, ultra avant garde super levels of time dilation perspective interplay interpolation if you will the fact is i think this is an extraordinary achievement to man okay i've done it haven't i i've done it i'm sorry i'm not boasting i think we have to just sit down and settle down to brass tacks but finally a human being has achieved something quite immaculate and incredible that in, in the process of 20 pure minutes of God, I've made an incredible film about making a chicken Kiev and chips. And uh, yes, I do like ketchup with my chicken Kiev and chips, okay? And yes, I am most thankful and most filled with gratitude for the love and the field of plenty we have in this community of lovers. I am not with filled with nothing but regret. I have so much joy to give, so much love, so much wonder, so much naughtiness and darkness and silliness and wit. Never mind. We must go in once more. I'm going for the final pull. But am I, what if I'm too slick, too, too, what the fuck? Too slow, too quick? No, can't be, can I? Time is eternal, allegedly. Alright, I'm going in again. Let's just hope the chicken Kevin chips will be cooked by this time. If only then, then we will see so much. We will understand so much more. We will feed our boots with wonderful tastes and flavours that are godlike in their luxurious delivery upon the palate of the town. I'm going in. I don't know, man. I don't know. God damn it. Why didn't no one warn me about this? Why did no 
go and tell me the sufferance of knowledge of man. You don't know that school, do you? You don't know the glory of the leaders and shit like that and the knowledge we have yielded in many aspects of reality over space-time. You don't learn, really, at school how it is to deal with the suffering ache of existential nightmare. I won't say hell because that's another zone entirely. And it's not what I intend to go to. That's why we have Jesus Christ and Stolen as well. Cranium, thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, all, man. And we love you too. And you're all, you know, welcome to a feeling structure at one point. So let's do this. We gotta do this. We're gonna make the fucking chicken Kevin and chips. It's gonna be great. We have to do this. I must learn strengthened through the binary cusp of a tadia. Okay, now it's the, no, it's too swift. Too soon! Too swift. Too soon! Too swift. Okay, now it's the Oh, fuck. Okay, what is that? What is. Right, I'm going for it, mate. I'm going for it. I think I'm going for it. That looks amazing, actually. Acceptable. So as you can see, here is my chicken Kiev and chips. Let me place it the right way up for anesthetic reasons. And now before I run out of juice, apply a little bit of ketchup. This is more exciting. Oh. Well, I wouldn't say it's more exciting than Terminator 2. Or, um. Yes. I stored some information for this. So here we go. This is great. This is great news. Great news. Oh, yes. The blessed, the blessed Heinz ketchup. That's amazing. If I was sponsored by Heinz, I'd be a proud man right now. Look at this beautiful dish. This is awesome. We just have to thank you guys. We have to thank you. And we have to just say hallelujah. Because shit like this is truly beautiful and I can't wait to tuck out. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for seeing the funny signs. And may the Lord be with you forever and ever. Amen. What is my name? What is my name if nothing to you? What is my name if nothing to you? What is my name if nothing to you? You think I can contain this? You think I need this? I want this? I control this? I desire this? I am what I am. I am species within the evidence of days we have upon us. There is no lie here. There is just truth rendered under the divine knowledge of Halloween. I am reality. Knowledgeable. Given the ephemeral cup. The knowledge of all divine truth. Clasped into a solace of time echoing to a distant mist of Eternia, rippling through space and wonder, laced with miracles in a divine sky, and therein we shatter and dust our own stupid bones, and wonder, what is this glad tiding upon us? What is this hopeful field of reverence we come shining within our sufferance? And we know, and we know, and we think, correctly, as it is unto and custom to us all. It is the time of Crimbo, the time of Christmas indeed. And in that, and in the glad tidings of the remembrance of the Messiah and all his glad things, we are welcome to our fortitude, 
and we are less than havoc in our souls. And so with that, there is nothing to fear. Fear is gay. We must move on, bravely, into the tundra of John Menzies and the epic wild expanse of the opticians and such, such as W.H. Smith's, which are really nice shops made by lovely people. Lovely people, lovely people that are very clever. Very clever. Clever people. Follow the clever people. Find the path. If you find the path of truth, you will revert yourself from the knowledge of suffering. Yeah, just as I thought. Ran out of batteries when I was getting to the crux of the position to make the entire film work at a beautiful level of reality. We've made an epic tonight, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute epic. What you don't understand is that under the technical details of reality, the beauty of capturing that reality is nonetheless impossible without certain interplay with reality and we have now the technology to capture actual reality as it functions and flows at quite a good grade of pixelated ocular knowledge and we have to accept this there's no two ways about it and it's a very exciting thing for the development of man's intellect but let us not allow it to run with our systems of truth entirely. Photos can be manipulated. Wickedry can happen in the shadows of video making. I do, on the whole, believe the system overall is more benevolent than the conspiracy theorists would have you believe. I believe it's a very good organization in charge of many huge international broadcasting systems. Okay? And I'm not a conspiracy nut. But I did like The Matrix. I mean, who didn't like The Matrix? That's why it's on TV a lot. We all like The Matrix. Fuck's sake, it's not a conspiracy if the broadcasting channels are putting The Matrix on TV. Is it? Is it? It's, it's loving art. It's loving the moving image. Oh, the beauty of cinema. Yes, it captivates us all, doesn't it? But what if my theory is right? What if my knowledge into the dark arts of humanity and my knowledge of God are one what then what then do I do to escape this horrific potentiality of reason I have accustomed myself to this terrifying portent of truth in the cynicism of great religious man that lies dormant in my psyche as I plunder the world for its ugliness and its evils and seeking the realisation of where it lies in truth. Yes, the time is an ill place to die for them. We must not seek ill virtue, but wander gamely among the mist. And in that, may your photons shine and all reason and truth be benevolent to thee, my glorious friends, out there in Cybertronia, watching, listening, thinking. How did he do it? How did he make a film this amazing about chicken Kiev and chips? And I'll tell you, baby, what it was is, is two simple tricks. Two simple tricks. One. Perfect delivery at all times. That's the trick you got to get. Perfect delivery. It doesn't matter how handsome and amazing and glorious I look. Because I don't really look. I look pretty shocking these days, don't I? A haggard old Jew. Right? But apply the delivery of the actual audio information with dulcet form of perfect knowledge and delivery. And 
people who listen for a good yarn. They really will, they really will. As can be evidenced by this entire documentary tonight into reality condensing within time dilational field belts. So I hope you found that interesting. And I hope you found it rather inspiring and wonderful. And you too can be a band from Ireland. And also many wonderful things. So well done. And I hope we, once we've finalised this knowledge of the chicken Kiev and chips, which I have just consumed, and it's got nothing to do with a shoddy pair of cod pieces. Um, well then, all is glory and all is well and all is hallelujah. That's all I have to say. Cause I, ain't, I ain't stepping out of the zone, man. I'm in the zone. And when you're in the zone, you don't step outside willingly in the zone. Because it's a contentment f phase, you know? It's a nice plane to be in. It's a, a semi-reality of cosmic wonders drifting into a perfect domain of love and knowledge but you know come on we can do this okay we can do this I believe in you I believe in all of you you've proven yourself to me with the benevolence of the devotion to your arts they are so good so good you are so clever so clever and this is the power of chicken Kiev and chips when you believe in the glorious munchkins and the power they provide to knowledge shh let's go come just so you know I'm so hungry we're now onto the bacon sarnie. So come along with me as we prepare the bacon sarnie because what I really want to do is go to the shops and see if they've got a beer, okay? But I'm not sure if I can afford the beer, but we'll have to see what we can do. But the point is, I'm so hungry that now we're cooking a bacon sarnie, as I can demonstrate. In there is bacon sizzling away. Like a scorched little corpus of pig or arses. Okay, but I believe in the in the circle of life, like Simba said, or rather Mufasa said to Simba. It is the circle of life, right? Because my dumping of this bacon sandwich in eventuality will feed the oceans, which uh, poison the fish and cause the mayhem of society. Apparently, or something like that. I'm not too sure, but um, it's all very complicated. And it's the times like this. I just say, well, look, we have to face it. I'm not black, so do I really fit into modernity? I don't know. I have to ask myself that question. Am I even relevant anymore as a white man, believer in the law above? I would like to say Jewish person, but they would never have it actually, ideally, because. I wonder about through my own theories of knowledge of God, but at a level that very few can tolerate as pure and decent and true, but they actually are biblically based at the fundamental level of colossal well being under his knowledge of divinity. But never mind, and ever the more. We have much time to celebrate, my friends. Much time because now I have a big sandwich on the move. And in that, I have two meals this night, two meals, to delight and sustenance with them. And I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. I am thinking, well, this is lovely, this is glad, this is welcome, this is pure, this is holy, this is true, this is genius, this is love, if you will. And in that, I am not mistaken into the folly of my time, for I am just thankful thankful that the Lord has applied these gratitudes upon us in format of edibles which are so scrumptious, so lovely, so beautiful to the tongue and delicious to the esophagus that we are all replete with plenitude of wonders and thus 
I evermore think and thank the whisper, and I will not complain as far as I can tell, unless saith from some pain become my daily toil. But without pain, I see no reason to complain. I see only reason to dance and rejoice in the field of buttercups and acorns. We are here, we are well, we are pure, glorious and real, and nothing can, can take us away from that epic actuality as we sit here making afters of the Jiggy Kevin chips, bacon roll, coming my way. Thanks for being patient, kind, loving, glorious and real. It's the only reason I can see for it. We are welcome. We are welcome. Glory is the Lord. Glory is the Lord above. Look at that baby go. Look at that baby go. I'm not sure she's done yet. I'm not sure she's quite done. Right, so we're going to be waiting a bit longer for this. But while we do wait, look at that. Look at the scopes on that. That's like laid in there perfectly. Just dripping with ketchup like a saucy beast. Right. The fact of the matter is... It wasn't that I was too lazy to make proper movies. It's that the effort involved for one particular vision where I was getting visions every day was just too much to bear for any mortal, rational human being. I had to cope with the input and the inspiration pretty much 24-7. I still do it, right, of epic amounts of fun information bombarding into my skull from unknown properties. And I love it, I don't get me wrong, I, I love being a fountain of great knowledge and wisdom and funny ideas and cartoonish ideas. Because I can do it, it's just... Uh, if I was to render everything that came down because the cascade through my mind, I'd be forever working and dying through absolute epic torment of sufferance in that toil. And therefore I have to draw a line somewhere where I can't do everything, I can't finalise and save the world of the epic. Let's should we check the bacon. We're still doing okay. I can't finalise and save and, and, and save everyone in the world. Like, no one can do that, not even Jesus can do that. That's why we're under a bitter spell. But the truth is that you're all doing quite well actually, apart from that. You're doing probably better than when Jesus comes back. When he comes back, he's going to nobble loads of you. Alright, so it's all good under, under domestic foreign policy at this moment. Everything's lovely. Everything's la -di da nothing to worry about, everything's tickety-boo, modern, infrastructure is great, technology is second to none, we're going ahead people, we're going forward, in the grand space-time continuum of love, joy, peace and surrender, to the Lord, and not the devil. So as we come up to the bacon signing for another check, what do you think, guys? Oh, is that, the, is that the oven setting, you knob? You knobber. What a knobber. Oh, no wonder it was taking so long. Oh, this I'm sorry to bother you guys. This film has now extended itself beyond five minutes. Thanks to the wrong setting on a cooker. What an asshole. Oh, mate. Well, we just have to sit here a bit longer now. Well, how, how are you feeling about it? You know, I'm not, I'm not too concerned. I just want to sort of know that there is a truth to this reality. A big divine knowledge of wonders. A miracle base, if you will. Where memory doth swell within the time of eternal cusp. And all wonders and peace and a deluge of happy rainbows is the epicenter of the glory 
of God's love. But here we go, here we go. I hear, I hear bubbling, I hear bubbling. So we could be quite exciting now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, ready? Go. What is this looking like? What is this looking like? I think that's ready to consume. So I'm going to consume that bacon now. In this roll. See, now it's in the roll. It is a bit undercooked, but I don't want to make this film too long and tiresome for all and sundry. Because can you imagine? Can you really imagine going through all this for fuck all? No. So in that, I will love you and leave you and tell you that no way in hell has the last hour or so of this film been evil, malicious, bad, psychopathic, disingenuous or nefarious in any shape, way or form. It's just being purely about making chicken Kiev and chips with a light bacon sunny aperitif. And in that I trust you are welcome to my soul and that I do not cause upset or discord among thy ribunctions. You are welcome. I am welcome. The Lord is at one with the peace of the glory as we all are in truth. <laughs>